restrooms, no water, no electric, just a bed. It's the kitchen. Camp was great, went through the 80s just fine, and then the powers that be in the Zia Girl Scout Council decided that girls didn't want to camp in a rustic place anymore, so they uh, closed camp, and it just kind of fell apart. All the cabins were falling apart. It was really bad. So along came us, the alumni, the friends of Camp Murray White, and we came and said, no, no. <laughs> There's a lot of us. There's several hundred of us from all different generations. There's campers from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s that are very involved in Camp Mary White and rebuilding. So every summer and well two or three times a year groups of ladies come up here to fix stuff. We do the, cab the kitchens and the cabins. And so this is its third year back as a camp, a girls camp. They're no longer associated with the Girl Scouts and this year they had 99 girls in one of their sessions. So it's a great success. Girls really do love adventure. Can anyone join the Friends of Camp Mary White? I was gonna yes, ask. anyone can join the Friends of Camp Mary White. I encourage you to go to Facebook, Friends of Camp Mary White. Look up Liz Longgreen. Flash is her camp name. She'll give you all the information, and uh, you can learn a lot more about it on that website. And there's a lot of videos from the summer. You can see what the girls were up to. Let's all join. Let's all join. Exactly. So for 20 bucks a year, you can be an actual official voting member of Friends of Camp Mary White if you want to. Or if you just feel like donating a dollar, they would love that too. So, or if you just want to spread the word. This is one of the cabins. Infern dust unit. It's amazing to me that they just have metal beds. There's one of the beds. This is known as a squirrel cage, and this is where the girls would put their food and lock it up so the squirrels wouldn't get in. That is so cool. Like the yellow flowers. 